Well, the 17th of May is a very special day in Norway. Here in Bemidji, a group of Norwegians gather every year on this day to celebrate their culture and honor the traditions of their ancestors. Reporter Cheryl Moore takes us into this unique festival for this week's In Focus. If you were to travel to Norway today, you'd see a celebration unlike any other. In Norway, it's children. Um, for example, in Oslo, 60,000 school kids march down and the king and the queen and their kids and grandkids are all waving to these 60,000 kids and their bands and all because it, they are so proud. There's a lot of proud Norwegians in the Bemidji area, so naturally, the city of course has its own festival. What we're doing here today is celebrating uh, Sutnamai or in Norway a lot of times they'll call it National Dog. Uh, it's the national day. In 1814, Norway signed its constitution on this day. The evening starts with a social hour. Then, there's even a parade. Dinner is served shortly after. It's basically bringing a little piece of Norway to the Bemidji area. Even when I was a little girl, my mother was Norwegian. And uh, she would talk about it, but that was as far as it went. We never really celebrated it. So I've been really happy to join Sons of Norway so that I am able to do that now with my heritage. The day is about celebrating the Norwegian culture and keeping it alive for future generations. We honor, I think, our, our parents and our ancestors when we carry on the traditions of our heritage. It's a, a wonderful way to touch back in history and to look forward and see all the changes that have happened in the world and the positives that are coming. And you don't even have to be Norwegian to celebrate. It's always good fellowship, uh, good conversation, and definitely good food. Um, so yeah, anybody can come. Anybody's welcome to any of our events. Reporting of Bemidji with this week's In Focus, Shrum Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.